So, good morning. Okay, uh, so today we'll be doing lab 2. So, lab 2 part 1, we are using uh, from the question here, it asks about we are use, we will be using two switches as input and we have to use the 74 HC74D flip flop. So, as you can see here, the layout here, so we are using two switches D and the clock. And this will be our LED output, which is the Q. So as you can see here, um, so from the first one, when D is zero, clock is zero, Q is zero. Okay, D is zero, Q is zero, at D is zero, clock is zero, the Q is zero. So the next one is D equal to one. Awesome. D equal to 1, clock equal to 0, the LED is still 0, and when D equal to 1, clock equal to 1, it will light up. Uh, D equal to 1, clock equal to 0, it will still light up. And then D equal to 0, clock equal to 0, it will still light up. And D equals to 0, clock equals to 1. It will light off zero. LED will be zero. Uh, D equals zero. Clock equals zero. It will become zero again. And D equals one. Clock equals zero. It will become zero. And D equals zero. Clock equals zero. It will become zero. And D equals one. Clock equals zero. It's still zero. And D equals one. Clock equals one. It will light up. Q equal one. Okay, so I think that's all for part one. Uh, we'll continue with part two after it. Okay, thank you. So for the part two, we are required to use a seventy-four HC seventy-four IC, and we have to plug in the Q bar output to the D input, and there will be a 500 kilohertz clock that been set into the IC. So we are required to predict the output, which is the frequency of the clock that coming out from the Q. So uh, we plug the flip flop, the D flip flop to, uh, to an oscilloscope and we measure the frequency that coming out from the Q and we predict that the Q will be 250 kilohertz so as you can see here from the uh, picture shown the frequency of the Q is 250 kilohertz that's all, thank you Okay, so uh, currently we are doing part 3 right now, so as you can see, uh, part 3 we have to modify the sequence of the binary 4-bit synchronous counter. So uh, we have to count from 1 to 6. So we are using on my left hand side, as you can see, this one, okay, this one is the 74HC 161 4-bit synchronous counter and on the right hand side is a 74HC00 which is the 4 uh, which is the NAND NAND gate IC okay this is a NAND gate IC so um, I set the clock to 1 hertz as you can see here 1 hertz okay so uh, this 1 hertz allow us to see the number jumping from 1 to 6 slowly so if we put like 500 kilohertz you wouldn't see the jump okay so if i press this button here which is the uh, run stop button so as you can see if i press continuously press it will jump from 1 to 6 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then jump to 1 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 okay so as you can see our uh, our design is successful it comply with the requirement which is we must design a circuit which count from 1 to 6 
So that's all for part 3. Uh, I will continue part 4 later. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> so uh, currently I'm doing part 4 right now. So uh, part 4, we are, we are required to design a circuit so that the die can show from 1 to 6. So as you can see here, the clock I set at 1 hertz. Clock set at 1 hertz. So if I press the run stop button, it will run 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So go back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this shows that we successfully designed a circuit that can uh, run the die from 1 to 6. So I think that's all for part 4. Uh, after I explain about part 5, that's all. Thank you. Okay, just now. Uh, I explained about part four, right? Part four, we use uh, we, we the number is not random because I set the clock at one hertz. That's mean we can expect what is the number that is coming out later. But when I want the number to become random, I, I, I can set the clock to become faster. That's mean from one hertz, I can set to five hundred kilohertz. Then the number will become. Uh, random because you cannot predict what the number comes next when I press the run stop button because it's run too fast for you to count. Okay, so when I run the run stop button, as you can see, okay, this is a random number five. And if I press next one, maybe it will be the same, maybe it will not be the same. So four, another time, five, one, five again, three. So this prove that we successfully uh, produce an electro die, electronic die that is random. So uh, before that, I would like to explain uh, on how we made the circuit. So we use a 4-bit counter and then we connect them to a NAND gate, a NAND gate and a uh, NOR IC as you can see. Here we use a 161 4 bit counter. Here we use a HC02. And on the right hand side is the. On, sorry, on the center is HC00. And on the right hand side is a HC02, which is the NOR gate IC. Okay, that's all. Thank you.